Hello my friends and today Christmas gift time and I came up with quite a really cool idea I think for um, an unusual gift. It's not something you buy at the store. You will have to make it at least part of it. Maybe not all of it but part of it. Um, you will require a cone Okay, so this is just from Michael's or any craft store. Um, they carry like those styrofoam cones. You need one of those. And you need also our tea. So definitely the aloe blossom herbal tea. Okay, uh, you could use other teas. Now the only requirement with the teas is that they have to be actually in the bag. All right, so something like that. They cannot be one of those loose baggies. They have to be actually wrapped individually in the bag, all right? So I had a little bit of a hard time actually finding those in different colors, for example, because I really wanted green, um, but I couldn't find it. Our tea, the Blossom Tea, is absolutely fabulous because as you can see, it is in silver. So actually, it works really, really well for this particular project. Now, the way to uh, arrange this, so, First of all, it is actually for somebody who loves tea, obviously, because you don't want to give it to somebody who actually is going to go like, yeah, I'm not into tea. <laughs> so I found different teas, which are, I think, really good for winter time specifically. And as we know, our blossom tea um, is very good for boosting the immune system, um, boosting your metabolic system. Uh, it's really good for your gut because actually it does... Because of the cinnamon and cardamom and um, ginger in it, um, it is really good for your system, generally speaking, to digest everything and to calm it down, so also for heartburn. And um, a lot of people love this because it is a little bit different. It's, it's a little bit spicy. And my daughter, for example, steals those constantly. Well, steals those. I had to actually tell her not to take any because I needed for the project. <laughs> um, she takes that with a little bit of honey and she loves it. You can drink it cold or you can drink it warm. I like it warm personally, but that's my personal opinion on that. Now, for this particular project, what we are doing is making a gift for somebody who loves tea. So, exactly, this is required. You also will need either different cups so it is your own choice what you would like to do um, take a bigger one or a little bit smaller one or actually you can do a teapot okay so I have all three varieties in here now the way we're gonna arrange this this cone is going to sit on top of either the cup okay kind of like that or inside of this one this one is a big one you know you remember uh, friends in the 90s this is the size, okay? It's like a half a liter <laughs> right in one cup. So you can put it inside of it. Or you can go really funky and actually do the teapot and either make a little hole inside of that cone because this is just styrofoam, so you can actually uh, kind of drill it or do something about it and put it on top just so it actually is attached to the lid and it sits there, okay? Now, you need to figure that one out before you start doing the project because obviously there is a difference if you are actually making it on top of, let's say, the teapot or you putting that inside of this cup. Why? And I'm going to show you why. Now, those beautiful bags we are going to attach to this cone. Well, you can start at the very bottom if you are putting it inside because then it might not fit actually, right? So you want to make sure that this kind of fits in there and you can put it around kind of that way, all right? Now in order to attach them, you will need little pins. So like the uh, for the dressmaking, the little pins. And the ones which have like tiny, tiny little um, Ends, okay, not the ones with the colorful big ones because you, you don't need those, uh, just the tiny ones. The trick to this is to attach it without puncturing the whole bag. So you can't just put it right in the middle. You should be putting that right on the edge. So you're actually putting that little pin right at the edge of it, right there. Okay, and it holds, okay. So there is one. 
Now, in order to actually put that around, you're covering the next one up like, like so. Okay, so now if we're talking about putting it on the teapot, obviously you're going to start right at the bottom or even below the bottom to touch the teapot so you can cover it. And this way we're making sort of a Christmas tree with a tea. So, tea, Christmas tree. Try to say that five times fast. All right, and we go layer by layer. So, let's say kind of like that. And again, don't forget, you're putting that right on the edge so you won't puncture the bag. We don't want the tea to go stale because your friend might be drinking that, or a family member, might be drinking that very fast and having one tea a day, or they can actually have it for a couple of months. And then what? We don't want that to kind of go icky on them. So let's keep it that way. All right. Now the next layer. Well, my suggestion would be to stick again, right, with the same tea, but you can also incorporate different teas. So this one is lemon ginger. I think also very good for, for winter. Now, I will start kind of in the middle of that seam between. There we go. Same idea. Putting that right in there. Lemon ginger. Come on through. Oh, that one. Okay. And obviously in the next layer we'll have probably one or two tea bags less than the previous layer. Okay. All right. Try to be kind of consistent with putting them in the same, same way, right? Okay, there we go. Now I did try to put them up with a tape. So just, just to tape them up, it doesn't work on the styrofoam. So this is why the pins are coming into place because um, tape does not work. All right. And then the next one, you can start either halfway or you can just show what kind of a tea is that. So somebody knows what type of teas they have. Um, so it will show them that this is lemon ginger. And it also, of course, depends on how many <coughs> teas you actually want to give away to somebody. Because I'm sure once you're doing this, you would like to keep some for yourself. <laughs> all right but that's that's kind of a really cool project i think and a really nice gift idea for those guys which are into teas and uh, our tea is as i said very special so i think they're gonna enjoy something like this so this is a finished one there you go so there is my tea tree okay now that one will go on top of this cup Okay, so I will have to attach it. Now, also what you could do is either put some candy inside of it or anything special inside of the cup and then put that. We need the topper though, right? Don't we need a topper? Yes, we do. Um, you could work with the teas and kind of put them sort of like a star that way. Of course, then you have to tape it and put it on top. Idea number one. Idea number two is a dollar store idea. So go to the dollar store, buy one of those little um, toys or ornaments which are for the tree and just place it in there as well. So you can do like this little gnome if you would like to, or you can do like that, do a little star. And again, everything on pins, right? So nice and easy. Obviously, this is not something that you want to do with maybe with the kids if they are small and they will will prick themselves. But there you go. What you need as the last thing is actually some um, see-through paper or um, I forgot how to call that. Anyway, the one for the baskets. Okay, this is what we're doing. The thing for the baskets and just wrap around it. Put the bow on it and there you go name tag and there is your little christmas tree made out of tea i think it's a great idea i will make a couple of those for my special people um it gives them a little bit of a special touch which is from you it's a personal touch you pick the teas for them specifically in the cup of course uh, you can do the christmas cups 
and uh, I think it's really nice to give somebody something which speaks from your heart. You know that person well enough that you know that they're drinking tea and also it gives them a heartwarming feeling of you dedicating a little bit of time to do this project. Well, as you know, you know where to buy this tea. Um, I think the next one I'm going to do whole silver one just because I can. And this is our blossom tea. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll see you tomorrow for another project, which I came up with, how to wrap different gifts and maybe what to add on to different gifts. I'm looking forward to show you again what I came up with. See you next time.